Hi everybody, in this video we are going to discuss about how to interpret the logical names in design type. Um, let's first of all review the actual problem. Let's add a UA controller. So here is my UA controller. And on my UA controller I'm going to put a picture box. And I'll choose its image. We can see the image and everything is great. But it's very bad practice to write code with hard-coded paths. What most developers, as a magic developers or any developer would do, is put some kind of token it that gets replaced later. So I'll put this as, sorry, I'll put this as percent temp percent. Great. So now we cannot see the, Im the image anymore because temp is not familiar to the designer. The designer doesn't know What's the meaning of temp? Okay, so let's play around with that. How can we teach the designer things that he doesn't know? Well, we need to remember that everything is code and so is the designer. We can run code here and we can adapt that. So let's have a look. The form is of type theme control form. Let's go there. Theme control form. And I can say here things like mbox, ta-da. Okay, and I'll go to the designer, close and reopen it, and I will get that message box. So that means that it's code just like any other code, and I can do things to it just like any other things. So let's start working on that. Let's do something that will solve this. I'll override the forms on load. Okay. And here I can use a flag that is called in the design mode, which happens only when I'm in design mode. That's how I can separate the code from development and actual runtime. I will also create my own little static here that says loaded and say if not loaded. That way I can make sure that it only happens once. Perfect. And what we actually wanted to do was to actually put the translation of temp okay, to my environment in which I'm in. So let's do it in the crudest way and later we'll improve. So I'll do try catch exception x and box x message. This will show me if anything was wrong and it will show it to me as an exception. And then we'll say env pass decoder instance pass decoder dot to share that. I will remember in a second how to edit that. Share pass decoder, add token, I'll say temp is C temp. Okay? Let's build it and go to our designer and we get the image. So all the environment settings that we are setting can be set just like that in the on load of the form and it's code just like any other code. But then again, well, all of these logical names are already set in my INI file and or should be set in my INI file. So I would probably have here something like temp means C temp. And I can have other settings that I would care about, like colors, fonts, and anything else that can affect my design and experience. So I can actually load the INI. Let's adjust the code there to actually load the INI. So we'll go to form, and instead of using this, we'll start by asking it what directory you're in. Current directory. And when we open the designer, we see it in C Firefly Migration Northwind App.net, which is actually the folder of our solution. Okay, so if I'll point its direction into Northwind and Northwind INI, it will load this Northwind INI. Let's do that. Let's go to our uh, code behind of our form and say, well, env dot user settings dot load INI file and tell it 
to load no string slash no string INI. Okay? Since it's running in the current directory, that should work. Let's have a look. Close, reopen, ta da! That's it. That's how you can get runtime information into your design time experience. And what I want you to take from this video is, first of all, the mechanics of how to do that, but also to remember that everything is code and everything is within your control. Just like I've changed the base form over here, I can change anything. And you can completely change the environment in which you are developing. Even everything that you see here, such as column wizard or add column tools or setup toolbox, all of this is code, which is in ENV, and it's not that complicated. It's code that you can play with and make it your own to get a better development experience. I hope you find this useful. Have fun.